Hello guys, it's me, UFO. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how I upgraded my previous uh, setup, the one from the, my previous video where I talked about the v VFIO GPU pass-through on Arch Linux. And in this video, I want to show you how I made my previous setup more pre pleasurable to use and uh, more comfortable. So it's not as uncomfortable uh, as the previous one where I had to manually change the input and whatever. So what have I done? I use one monitor just for uh, Windows and uh, another one, at least when I have my um, virtual machine running on just for Linux. When I don't use uh, the virtual machine, I use both screens for Linux. So both this one and this one, I use both of them for Linux. But right now, what I've done is, uh, is uh, I've set up a Synergy, that software that uh, makes possible using the same mouse and keyboard on uh, multiple systems. As you can see, my mouse is right there and I can pass my mouse between the systems without any delay or anything. And I'm using Synergy to do it. There it is, Synergy, right there. In, it's unregistered, but it works anyway. And also, uh, I can show Synergy on, uh, on Windows. There it is, Synergy. And every time I, I, I pass from Linux to Windows, you can see in the console, there is, there is living screen, entering screen, living screen, entering screen. So this uh, software helps me using only one keyboard and one mouse for both uh, Linux and Windows. So this is very helpful. And you can make it start at, at the very beginning of the virtual machine. So you don't even have to switch using a different mouse or passing the mouse because the software starts itself automatically on Windows. So you just start the virtual machine on Linux and you can already pass your mouse to the virtual machine because it starts at the same time that Windows starts. So this is very helpful. Uh, what else have I done? I passed my uh, audio. I passed my audio so I can use uh, the same pair of headphones or whatever on both uh, my guest and host. I can make you, I, I can show you like a test how it works and uh, whatever. So give me just a second. I can, I can connect a, a pair of uh, speakers so it would be easier for you to, to hear it. Okay, there it is. So for example, I can go on Linux, go on uh, YouTube and start, I don't know, uh, no copyright music. So I don't receive a copyright strike without any reason and just play the latest, uh, the latest song. It's Robin Hustin. Let's start, let's play this one. So as you can hear, the audio doesn't have any cracks on it. It's uh, really clear. Like you can listen to it without any problem. Like the quality is really good. But if I switch to Windows and go on YouTube and also search no copyright uh, music, so no copyright music, and go on the same channel and. Play the same song. As you can hear, as you can hear, the audio doesn't have any cracks in it or whatever. And uh, how how I achieved this thing? Well, the the audio pass is really easy, but it's a bit tricky. It's not. Like, uh, it's not quick to do, or it, like it depends on what, uh, what, what do you think about it, but it's really simple to do. So 
what, what am I using to pass my audio to my uh, host? It's really simple. I have a display spice right there. Right there, I can make a zoom for you. I have a display spice that I don't uh, use for for like for checking up my my virtual machine because I have another screen, but I'm using the display spice to pass the audio. But the audio was really awful, like the quality was really bad. So I fixed by changing the sound card from a ICH6 to AC97, and then I installed the drivers on Windows. But because the drivers were unsigned, I had to disable the uh, the check for the signed drivers. And you, it's pretty simple to do. You just reboot your virtual machine, like in advanced reboot or whatever, and you have to disable it. Like if you, it's really easy to do. You can even uh, press the left shift. You can press the left shift. On, on Windows while you restart, so uh, like advanced menu will show up and you can disable it. So after installing the AC97 drivers, I had like a clear audio without any crackling, without a anything, without any distortion, whatever the audio, as you can hear, it's re really clean. So this is what have I done with my setup. I've set up Synergy and fixed the audio. And what else can I show you? For example, uh, what else, what else? Ah, I can show you, for example, a game I installed Half-Life 2 from Steam. So there it is. I can skip the intro. And uh, what's the main issue using uh, Synergy? Let's speak like chapter uh, seven, the highway because it's uh, it's open world and it's easy to to understand what I'm saying. At this part, when I try to move my mouse, it's bugged, but I made a custom shortcut. While I press a uh, screen lock, the mouse is locked to one screen, so I can play games and whatever, and the performances are, are uh, like really good because I'm passing my entire GPU on the virtual machine. So let's uh, let's view the game, and as you can see, I can move, I can jump, I can I don't know, I can uh, make an accelerated bunny hop, and whatever, and the performance are really good. I can achieve like the same FPS as on the the host machine, so it, it it doesn't matter. So you can even play on it, and the delay isn't that bad. So quit Half-Life, quit, and this will be all for this video, I think, because I don't want this video to be really long, it, I just wanted to make an update video showing you my upgrades on my setup, so Synergy and the Audio Pass, and that's uh, that's uh, that's all for, for today, for this video, uh, if you can, like, subscribe to my channel, because no, I'm aiming to 100 subscribers. It's nothing special, but it uh, it's really important for me. Like it would be a really nice guess for from from you. And that's all for this video. Uh, and I'll leave a comment. Uh, I, I don't know, asking for for some help if you if you are planning to do the same setup. And uh, I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye bye.